All right, so I had several people ask about catching bait off the bank. It's not everybody has a boat. Some people bank fish. And you want to know about catching bait off the bank. Well, today, we're going to try to show you how to do that. So catching bait off the bank is all about timing. Timing is everything. So we had a big rain. The air temperature has been in the 60s. We had some warm rain. And when that happens, these creeks get muddied up. Some of the main feeder creeks. Um, there's a lot of fresh water coming in. A lot of the plankton moves up shallow. And so far, so the gizzard shad are gonna move up shallow with the plankton. Um, those shad are looking for warmer water and of course like I said with all the runoff and the warmer rains it warms that water temperature up now as you can see I've got my waders on um, a good pair of waders helps a lot now some places you don't have to have waders but it makes access to other places a lot easier so we're seeing shad flip all around the banks here we're going to try to get the net out and see if we can catch catch some shad and we may even throw a rod out. Stay tuned. Alright, so the, one of the biggest things is trying to get to the bait without spooking them. Uh, when they're really shallow like that, they're very, very, very spooky. You have to take your time easing out to them and have a net that you can make a pretty long throw. Now, I'm throwing a pretty big net still. I'm throwing a nine foot. This is uh, actually a net I bought off of Amazon. It's a it's a nine foot drassery. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it seems to be a good little net so far, but uh, it's a cheaper net. I'm not scared of losing it. If I lose it, I lose it. You don't want to take your $200 Super Pro and try to catch bait around the bank because if you make a throw, you get your net hung up, it's possible you're not getting it back. So we're gonna load the net up, see if we can find some bait and throw on them. Got one in this spot. And a yellow perch. Check hmm. that dude out. Pretty cool. But hey, we did get at least one. So let's see if we can get some more. Yeah. Alright, so we changed spots first spot there was a bunch of bait there but it was really really scattered we were having to wade out waist deep to get to them but we came to another creek and we found a bunch of bait um, in this creek and we're gonna work with them and see if we can't uh, see if we can't catch these there's a lot of them that's a lot closer to the bank I don't even know if I'm really gonna have to have waders to get to this bait but uh, yeah, we'll try to catch him, see what we can do. So it took a little work, but we finally were able to get a few baits. We had to change spots, but we were able to get a few shad. Got some big thread fins. A couple small gizzard shad, some small. That's a little more like what we're looking for. Some big gizzard shad. Let's put that dude out and see if we can't catch a big blue cat. 
Now, as far as where, of course, any of the big feeder creeks, most of the big feeder creeks has a launch ramp or has some kind of access that you can get to uh, in the back of these creeks that you can fish off the bank or you can, in this case, catch bait off the bank. But yeah, these larger feeder creeks, they tend to warm up a lot faster than the main channel or any of the smaller creeks off of the main channel. The large creeks is what you want to look for, especially any of them that have a creek in the back that water's coming in. And the bait's flipping. It is just, like I said, if I wouldn't have waders, it would have been pretty difficult. So waders were a big help. But that bait is flipping just, just far enough off the bank. You can see some of it flipping. Yeah, it's just staying far enough off the bank that you can't really throw from the bank and get it. This bait is staying just far enough off the bank that you, it's hard to catch them on the bank. But man, a good pair of waders. I think I bought these on Amazon for like 80 bucks. You could buy you a set of waders for what a one rod would cost. And if you take care of them, they'll last you. Let's see if we can make another throw. Let's see if we can catch just another bait or two. couple thread fins and a bluegill Sometimes you catch a little bit of everything in the net. We've caught bluegills, we've had crappy in the net, and of course what we're going for is sheds. So as far as timing, we watched this, we seen the rain coming, we looked at the forecast, we planned it out, and we're able to come and that bait was up shallow. Now, it's a good idea. Catch as much bait as you can when it's up shallow. Put, it in, put some in the freezer for a rainy day because once the next cold front comes in, a big cold snap comes, it's gonna pull all that bait back out to that little bit deeper water. few baits at time. Got a few baits. Get another big gizzard.
in the bluegill. Yeah, that's what we're after. Some big old gizzards. All right, so we were able to get some bait. It was a little tough. The bait just wanted to stay off the bank just enough, um, which made it a little tough. But we were able to get enough bait to fish with. Um, we had some big gizzards, had plenty of thread fins, had some bluegills. So, once again, it's all about timing. You know, like I said, we had some warm rain come in. It did dirty the water up some, which kind of helps catching them off the bank. They can't see as well. Um, but that warm water that's rushing in brings all the plankton and microscopic organisms up, and that brings the bait in to feed on it. It also makes the bait comfortable up in that shallow water because the water's so warm. Now, another thing to look at, we come in the afternoon. A lot of times your coldest part of the day is first thing in the morning or after dark. We waited until it was the warmest part of the day and came. The warmer it is, the more it brings that bait up. Um, so we're going to hang out, see if we can catch a fish, and go from there. So there you have it. It is possible to catch bait during the winter off the bank, but sometimes it's a grind. We had to throw and throw and throw, and we caught enough bait to fish with and even put a fish on the bank. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.